I watch my father punch other people in the head and try to separate them from consciousness. And they tried to do the same to him. When you understand that that's how your father puts food on the table, it exposes you to how harsh life can be. The sons of the toughest man in the country. Yeah. People look at you a certain way, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody comes up to you, they shake your hand, yeah. I, I, like, yeah. okay, you're a tough guy, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Bravado, over and over. I get it. Yeah. I think my brothers found it a little difficult to forge their own identities because of that. You don't want to grow up being George Chabalo Jr., really. Three. That's a hell of a burden to have. He was a boxer's son, and he grew up with pain. And the ones he lost, and the ones he loves now, he won't see their kind again. My brother Jesse was out on a motorcycle, and he tore up his knee in an accident. And they had him on some opioids. And you get addicted. So they took him off it. I kind of had the same situation happen to me. I'm super lost, but I don't know how to explain that. Addiction is almost always a symptom of deeper pain. Because you're trying to survive. There is a kind of hope that grows in darkness best. And he went to get heroin to deal with the pain. There is a fear of being still inside that never lets us rest. Next thing I know, there's five or six people connected to me, also addicted. And then eventually my other brothers got hooked. I couldn't get away from it. And as much as we tried, and as much as my dad tried, uh, we couldn't. When the high wears off, sun sleeps, and the raindrops fall, I pray for better days when the mess is made and the stains won't scrub off. Drowning in my brother's tears, I'd give my life to slay his buzz. My sweet baby boy, my daddy screams, trying to save his son. After my youngest brother took his own life because of his heroin addiction, our family dynamic was never the same. It opened a Pandora's box. When heaven's high and hell is hot and winter's cold, when the guilt won't leave, I refuse to let it win my soul. As a caregiver, I think about it almost every day. It's survivor guilt. But you have to move on because there, there are other people to take care of. What it took for Mitch to be the person he is. How can someone be so strong? To write a song about that, it's complicated. Like right now, we're just gonna piece it together, right? When we're knocked down, let's remember the ones who never gave up on love. He's still there for everybody and he still seems to have room. That should be the chorus. Tonko's lyrics are so powerful. And then the drums are like, when you're not down, get back up for the ones who never gave up on love. Feels like you always fight from the rope, son. Just remember, you're stronger with us. My father is now in the throes of dementia. And I realized I couldn't do it all by myself. Like I can write all the lyrics in the world on my own, but it only works when you're like with people. There it is. That's it. So I fought very hard to get him access to the care he needs. It's a way of working that is uh, about trust. My job is to remind him of the former and help him deal with the latter whenever it comes up. The boxer is older now. And the past is where he stays When his tears wash the windows of memories He recounts the glory days I said, Dad, don't cry He goes, no, crying cleans the windows on my memories And every drop of blood I don't think we, we celebrate enough in our country is how sport can play a role in building resilience. Absolutely. Because life is a struggle. I'm not going to go into great detail, but I've been as down as anyone. My brother died of a heroin overdose. My mother killed herself four days later. Two days later, I was tearing down the street as fast as my legs would take me. 
I've knocked out for the 10 count I've been hit and I've been down But I'm back up and in the ring now With my guard up and my chin down If I get hit and I spin out On my weak knees and kiss ground My angels will spread their wings out Give me strength and sing out To train me for my next bout In a new ring for a new crowd For a new win, a new plight A new struggle, a new fight My central belief is that this is a loop Game. We concentrate on winning, but learning how to lose with dignity is very important. Accepting that loss is at the heart of what my band is about. Please welcome Stars! And when you do lose, coming up with a strategy to overcome that. Every Stars song, Mitch knows that pain deeply. The price of love is love. The price of peace is pain. If you breathe in deep and accept that loss. And my whole thing as a phys ed teacher is that movement builds resilience. It would be so cool to have Mitch as a teacher. And when I see young people, I find it incumbent upon me to make sure that they have beautiful, meaningful memories about their early sport experience. My early memories of sport are my best ones. I remember playing football by the Humber River and I remember the colors of the trees. No matter how much suffering he went through, there was a love at the core. That's what got him through. That's what made him a good person. Then we'd go home in the car and we'd be singing at the top of our lungs on the way home. We were happy warriors, right? In the car singing. Put your hands up if you know you're gonna lose this game. Put your hands up if you know you're gonna lose this game, this game. I hope this connects. I hope that Put it gets through to somebody and it makes them feel less alone. You're gonna lose this game, this game, this game. Put your hands up if you know you're gonna lose this game. That's a powerful beast, man. It's a powerful beast.